favourite word. Nomenclature. Dun, dun, dun. in there so that's all right float level don't look too bad a little bit low so we'll bend him up a little bit place gaskets on what do you check for normally so like a list of things in your head that you're checking just anything that looks blocked or un unseated properly you know that spindle's very tight got a spring in it i thought the spring should go on the bottom of that All it takes. God, just a just a midge. Yeah, so literally all it is. That being tight, how would that affect the performance of the car? It's just your throttle will all feel horrible, and he said the throttle is sticking open sometimes, and all sorts of stuff. So if that's tight and you can't, because it isn't a push-pull system or a pull system, it's a push system. If you can't, all it'll do is bend the throttle wire. If you look at that, you can see. Normally when you open a throttle, it pulls the cable to open the butterfly, yeah? Yeah. On a Harley, when you open the throttle, look, it pushes the cable. So if that that you're trying to push on that butterfly that that's connected to is C-solid, yeah. all it's going to do is bend that wire. There you go. And you're not getting smooth motion through it, yeah? So that one ill-fitting part in the car would have caused that? Certainly wouldn't have helped. I'm not saying it caused all of it, but it wouldn't have helped. We have a 15 16 Venturi slot with fixed jet number one, that's right. Which that is. Oh, that's bang on. Right, carb goes that way, so that goes that way. So you don't need to blow it out or do anything like that? Yeah, that'd be fine. I see him. Yeah. 
still slightly tight, but there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're jamming up, you know. It's a nice motion on that now. Butterfly shutting nicely. We're on the idle, Let's make sure you get full throttle. No, that's not right. We need to set that back and see that on full throttle. That should be directly in line like that. Yeah? Okay. So when I'm on full throttle, so that's not allowing you full throttle, that butterfly slightly shut. So you can move it back the other way and take up the slack on the idle setting. Want it about there, don't you? That's better, isn't it? Okay. So that's on its backstop there. You wind that in there, give it a little bit of throttle to your locker. That's got a little bit of throttle there. It's all good. Now let's find our carburetor bolts. Got to be here somewhere. That's one, two, three. Your washer's coming up, that's all. Right, now that, put a little bit of preload on the throttle. What we want to hear. Right, I'm pleased with that. Not quite achieving flat out full throttle, but that's not an issue. Front plug, back plug, that goes up to there. Different, isn't it? The plugs are they tightened to particular? Nah, just do them up so you know the ceiling washers are down. Right, that's that and that. That goes up on there when that goes on. Oil pipes are there. So let's give that a little bit of a clean up around there. Okay, right, I think we're good to go with the oil tank now. Nomenclature. Dun, dun, dun. another spring loaded seat yep are you going to do anything with the um kickstart no i've spoken to him about it i'll tell him it'll be another week of labor oh really okay well it will be they're an absolute <coughs> fucking pig of a thing to do okay
pretty solid now because it was flapping around hanging off before so split pin for the brake and that's it I think put some oil in it and how much oil would you normally put in I think it, I can't remember what they take now I just keep checking them on a dipstick oh, okay Fuel is on, make sure it ain't pissing out everywhere. Where would it be coming out from? Out the overflow there or dribbling out of here if it's all wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Mission on. Oh. What do you think's happening then? Um, it's probably just where everything's so dry. So what's your kind of diagnosis for getting it going? Well, just need to sort of make sure it's getting fuel first, which I think it probably is. It should have more than enough oil around there to get the suction up. No, they're not getting it's not getting fuel up. And what, what would be the reason for that? Lack of suction. So we'll bang a bit of give it a bit of WD forty down the balls. Give it a kick over. Make sure we are sparking. That's a, mind you, it was kicking and banging a little bit, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got no spark. Not a very good spark once, and it stopped. So the CDI unit's gone. Then that's that's the end of that. Should be pissing out the end of that. It clearly isn't, is it? Oh. Right, that's timing. <laughs> I thought I'd been shot. <laughs> what, just explain what happened there with the. Uh, with it not starting the fuel and so it, everything's when you put it together everything's so dry yeah but on the other hand you've put oil all around the valve stems you put oil all around the valve heads yeah. so basically you've got a load of oil in the engine your bores are fairly dry so by squirting a little bit of wd-40 down it you then gain suction okay so that forms your suction back up once it's got an oil mist in it so see that now once it's fired once that'll just go yeah but i know the timing's out because of the backfire so i'll now put it back to the points ignition which he said he doesn't mind if we do anyway i mean cdi units do funny things they can break down you know where's your points you know exactly where you're at with them
Two of them, one of them. What's your thoughts on that and this? Um, I'll just change the condenser. It's got to be timing all valves, so just check the valve laps again. Don't think it's electrical. Could be the coil. There's a spare coil in there. Well, just change the bits as you go in until it eliminates the problem. The timing shouldn't be that far out, you know, checking it the way I have. So just change your bits as you're going along, you know. Next week on the workshop. This one's obviously been a bit quirky. It's just the way it is, you know. Which is why, again, people get in a muddle with them. Can you imagine doing that and then mm. forgetting to do the timing? And then yeah. it, it's very easy to lose your way with it. Yeah, I'm thinking people will look at it and go, well, I've done, done the timing, I don't need yeah, to go back to that Yeah, if you adjust again. the points, your timing's gone. Yeah. You mess around with a hand lever, your timing's gone. You've got to yeah. keep going back, keep going back, just checking that you know everything's correct. Yeah.